out right how la rag with lang graph specifically works agentic flow yeah agentic flow also we can probably take up okay ready everyone agree with this so we will try to do some kind of uh, coding you know so that and soon i will be also making whatever code i will do this and tomorrow i'll make a dedicated video for that you know so what do you do uh, shall we go ahead with agentic rag and there are amazing things with respect to agentic rag which can which can be developed you know so i was just exploring things over here lang graph if i go over here i'll see over here itself and this will just give you an idea like how to probably go ahead with so here you have this lang graph you can probably see the tutorials yeah so here uh, are different types of rag you know uh, let's let's go with agentic rag then we will go ahead if time permits we'll go with adaptive rag all these rags will try to cover in multiple live sessions okay so let's let's go ahead yes everyone super cool i think you can code along with me but i think uh, to develop this amazing rags using lang graph you require an open ai api key what do you say shall we go ahead yeah apache airflow also i created a one shot video i think i have never discussed something like this yeah so jo do, uh, give, do make sure that you hit like and uh, yeah let's let's start working on this you know it, it's amazing and i i feel uh, the most important thing in generative ai specifically uh, rag rag kind of application and there are some applications which you specifically need to do fine tuning and all okay shall we go ahead everyone so let's let's open google collab so i'll show you with respect to google collab so that everybody will be able to access it let's create a new notebook uh ishan uh, kubernetes model i am working on it understand uh, uh, whenever we design a new module it needs to be probably developed in a way that everybody understand okay in hari bari if i do it uh, i don't think so many people will be able to understand so let's work on this agentic rag with open ai okay and uh, the best thing whenever you start any topic any 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 specific topic uh, i would always suggest that please watch the documentation like let's say over here agentic rag is given right so here you can definitely follow this and you can start doing it just for a basic example and later on you can probably change a lot of code inside this and work on to it okay so our main aim on this let's see this particular documentation so agentic rag is nothing but uh, it will be useful when we want to make decision about whether to retrieve from an index or not okay so it's uh, just to give you an idea right what exactly agentic rag is let me just go ahead and explain these things you know so that it will be helpful for you in order to understand things okay so let me do one thing let me share my other screen also so that you will be able to understand it okay ah we 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 just a second okay let me just uh, create this okay so for agentic rag what exactly it is like we really need to try to create an agent which will be responsible for making sure that let's say we if you are searching anything the agent should decide from where that search should specifically happen and uh, that is what agentic rag is all about so here uh, let if i if i just go through this you know there is some 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 urls that is given over here and we specifically read the data from that url make it as an embeddings and then we are creating a retriever then finally we are creating a retriever tool okay so this is my agent state with the help of rank graph and uh, here there are some functions that is defined perfect and here we are basically creating an agent okay okay so uh, how many of you have used uh, lang graph studio also 
because whatever code we'll be specifically writing i will try to show you in langraph studio also yes how many of you know that just raise your hand or tell me something about it you know okay so uh, how many of you please discuss about system design question in some other live sessions you know system design is something which is amazing again to discuss and uh, you just basically need to understand the entire architecture okay AI tech stack along with this uh, I have used no uh, sir do we need to understand DL for lag I only know ML it's okay see if you don't know DL also because it's more about executing things okay so let's uh, first of all go ahead and uh, probably go ahead and do the installation so for this uh, I will definitely require Langchain OpenAI, Langchain Hub, ChromaDB, Langchain, Langgraph and all either you can create a requirement.txt file Let's go ahead and change the runtime. Let's say that I want to basically use this. I'll just go ahead and connect it. Okay. So this is the first step. I'll just go ahead and control paste over here. And let's go ahead and execute this. <sighs> so it's more about doing this installation. Once this installation is done, we see our main aim over here will be that we'll try to create a uh, a course uh, 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 we'll just try to create a lang graph uh, applications and this will be a, like an agentic rag okay so here the installation is specifically happening mm -mm. and here so please bring advanced nlp with jenny and udemy guys uh, the things that i have uploaded in 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 uh, what to say in udemy right it is far more advanced if something needs to be added i will definitely add don't worry about it you have to just trust me, you know, in some ways. Okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, so we have installed this. Uh, now let's go ahead and explore. Uh, okay. It's saying me to probably set up the URL uh, environment, uh, you know, the, the uh, environment of the OpenAI. So what I'm actually going to do specifically over here, let's go ahead and import this. So from Langchain, Langchain underscore OpenAI. I'm going to just go ahead and import open open AI okay then uh, so far I'll just go ahead and import this open AI embeddings let's take up this embeddings uh, probably will be using this and then I will just go ahead and write import OS and let's take this API key so I'm just going to hard code the API key. I have actually taken the API key of the open AI. So don't try to use this. Okay. Anyhow, it will not work if you try to use it because after the session, I'll just try to delete it. Okay. And, uh, once I have the open AI API key, uh, here it is setting the open AI API key over here. And now I can probably take this entirely. So this is nothing but it. We are basically taking three blocks and then we are converting this into docs then docs list then we are using text splitter then we are converting this into a vector store DB, uh, vector store uh, there is just like uh, vectors for the same text what we have inside this particular block so i will just go ahead and copy this and i'll execute this quickly open ai embedding is basically used uh, i think it will give us an error because we have not set up the api key so Quickly, let's go ahead and set this up. API underscore key. Okay. So once we set up this open AI API key, so this is my retriever. So the main aim of this particular retriever will be that you will be able to invoke with any message that you write. Let's say I'll write what is, um, what is agentic rag, let's say. So it is basically going to retrieve all the data that is present inside this entire data itself, right? So here, wherever the, uh, it is talking more about agentic based on that em embedding vector matching, it is just going to give you this particular details, okay? 
Uh, yeah, you can also convert this into hybrid ad, but I have just used this chroma plot from documents and probably be able to explore this, right? Now, the main aim over here will be that uh, we will try to convert this into a land graph, okay? Uh, land graph agentic rag in short. So let's, let's go ahead and see the documentation more. So, okay, here they have also created a retrieval tool because this tools will be specifically used in land graph. Uh, and we have just put inside this particular tool. So here you can see create retrieval tool. Okay. And then here you have retrieve, uh, retrieve blog post, search and return information about Lilian when blogs post on LLM agents. So this is a kind of a prompt that we are specifically giving. And this is my retrieval tool name. And the uh, retriever that is basically considered will be this vector store. So let's let's copy this. And let's paste it over here. Let's see whether this will work or not. Let's execute it over here. So fine, this is my tools. I should be able to see my tools over here. And here is my tool name with all the information and the kind of uh, embeddings that is specifically being used. It's nothing but OpenAI embeddings. Okay. Um, this is done. And uh, how to apply RAG approach for resume screening against job description? It's very simple. Uh, whatever job description is that we try to convert that into a vector embedding, you can convert that into a retriever or a retriever tool and use it anyhow. Okay. So we'll, we'll just try to see that part itself. Then uh, this is where my agent state is basically getting created uh, for my entire graph. Okay. So I'll just copy this. Okay. Uh, annotated sequence like if you're following my land graph series I think you should be able to understand base message add message this add messages are like whatever messages will be added over here based on that the agent will change the state you know agent will change the state so I'll just copy this over here and here you can see from typing import annotated sequence typing extension import type deck base message add underscore message and here we are just trying to add that particular messages uh, with respect to sequence okay the add message function defines how an update should be processed uh, default is to replace add message says append okay we can also create noted uh, nodes and edges i'll show you how to probably go ahead i think uh, in the documentation also it should be given so here is where your nodes and edges will start uh, I would definitely not start from this because these are something like a functionalities, I guess. Okay. So let's go ahead and see some more, right? So we'll start from this graph. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this graph. So first of all, I will go ahead and create some cells. I will just go ahead and write from langgraph.graph import and state graph state graph from lang graph dot prebuilt i'm importing tool node tool node is basically to integrate the tools that is actually available and then from lang graph dot graph uh, um, so can we apply mlops of your udemy course to gen ai projects yes you can to any any projects that you you want to probably do it you can right okay so here we are using state graph start and end and here we are using tool node. This tool node, I think uh, we will try to integrate with the tools that we have imported over here. This tools, retriever tool that we have actually created. I think this is good enough, okay? So here uh, we are just going to go ahead and create a graph now. So let's see. So for creating a graph, we need to define a workflow. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here, okay? Where it is okay so first of all i will go ahead and define a state graph and i'll take the same agent state what we have defined it over here so this is my agent state class that is defined and whenever a new message is basically sent okay uh sir can you suggest for my it project are are please focus over here nah? uh I'm, I'm showing you how do i probably go ahead and see how the execution specifically happens with respect to the documentation and many more things okay Yes, yes, seeko. Baki sub cheese to seek pauke, right? Google we karoge to mil jayega kuch na kuch, right? How do you explore things? How do you probably, I have a lot of plans to upload a lot of videos. I'm just out of time. So <laughs> I thought, right, for tomorrow's video, why don't I create a material over here, right? So that would be my funda completely. So here is my workflow state graph and agent state. And then, uh, 
let's go and do this so it is saying that define the nodes we will cycle between so we are going to add one node that is agents over here right so this is my first node that i'm going to add in my workflow so let's go ahead and add it step by step i'll show you okay step by step so this agent needs to be defined where it needs to be defined if you probably see over here there'll be a function which is called as agents you can see over here right it invokes the agent model to generate a response based on the current state given the question it will decide to retrieve using the retriever tool or simply end okay so this is what is my agent state so let me take this and let me copy it over here on top of this cell okay so this is my agent and it is asking for chat open ai so let me just go ahead and import from langchain underscore open ai import chat open ai okay so chat open ai is here temperature is here this is here let me also go ahead and set my api underscore key api key is equal to api underscore key okay now once this is done let's see this so we are binding the tool we are invoking the messages uh, so here what is basically happening whatever this agent state is capturing the message right whether a user is messaging or whatever will be the previous message we take that message then we initialize our model we bind the tool with the tools the retriever tool and then we invoke with that message and i get the response so my first node is basically saying that hey go and call the agent this agent based on the state will be binding to our tool okay the tool is nothing but retriever tool where i specifically have uh, uh where i specifically have my data over there uh, the retriever tool data and then specifically the retrieval tool vectors and then we are going to invoke this particular message okay so once this is done i think this is good enough now let's see what is basically added over here in the next step the next node is nothing but we are basically creating a tool node okay which is my retrieve see retriever tool is my tool okay and in order to make sure that we have compatible with uh, lang graph we are just going to go ahead and use tool node over there so let's go ahead and execute this it's more about i hope so it should work okay so uh, now i have my retriever okay uh, so this is my tool node okay now this tool node after the agent you know it should probably execute this so for for that i will just go ahead and add this particular node over here okay let's see this so here i'm going to go ahead and add the node that is nothing but retriever okay that basically means from agent it is first of all going to go ahead and ask the retriever saying that hey whether you want to get the data from the index or end it that is what is written over here it invokes the agent model to generate a response based on the current state given the question it will decide to retrieve using the retriever tool or simply end okay oh uh, this is done yeah for my interview platform also i'm creating some agentic applications you know to probably generate the questions and all so it will be fun uh, please make sure that you keep an eye on that because a uh, lot of updates are basically going to come and uh, let's see whether i will be able to provide everyone completely for free i don't know you know it is very difficult because there are a lot of llm models being used over there but uh, let's see how things will happen but definitely i would like to probably give that entire tool completely free for everyone okay so let's go ahead and add this retrieve retriever okay and uh, now the next step let's see this uh, okay so here it is basically saying that hey go ahead and rewrite the question so uh, after the retriever is basically done the next thing is that we need to rewrite that particular question in a better way okay so and generating a response after we know the documents are relevant it is saying that hey once we retrieve the data from the index if it is relevant we will go ahead and rewrite the question again and then we will generate it so this all task are basically done so let's let's see this whether this will get executed or not um, but yeah i'll come up with a dedicated video for this also now rewrite and generate like this only it should be some functions i guess so here you will be able to see there is a rewrite function so let's copy this this is nothing but it is transforming a query to produce a better question so here is my message here is my question i am putting a question look at the input and try to reason about the underlying semantic intent meaning 
and formulate and improve questions. So it's more like this only. So this is the prompt that we are specifically going to give and we are going to formulate an improved question if it is coming from the reinvex. So I'll copy this over here and uh, let me do one thing. Let me paste the function on top of the agents. Okay. I'll paste it over here. And this time, this is my human message. This human message may be coming from, let's see from where it is coming. It is coming from this. So I will just go ahead and copy this. Yeah, so I'll execute this over here. So rewrite function is also done. So what this is basically doing is that it is going to go ahead and retrieve, rewrite and finally it is going to generate. So for generate, there should be one more function. Let's see. Generate. I think that is done. So this is just going to generate some the text that we are looking for. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. I know whether this will execute or not, but I'm just going to create a, a dedicated video for the same, you know, so it will be amazing. Let's go ahead and execute this. Yeah. Uh, add node, generate this, this, this is done. Now let's put some conditions. Yeah, two conditions are over here. We are going to start the edge, add additional conditions, retrieve. Uh, this will be my great documents and this will basically be compiled. Let's see. I know it's a bad idea. Great documents. Great documents is another one function where we have specifically defined great documents. So let's see this. So guys, I'm not going to answer anybody's question right now because I'm just solving one of the issues over here. Uh, one of the things that I really want to implement it. Well, let's execute this. Let's compile. Okay. Now what I can do is that I can go ahead and even see the map, the entire map. I think this should work. can talk more about the computer vision industry. Uh, see guys, there, there are mainly two jobs uh, that I feel, you know, after machine learning and all. In generative AI specifically, there is related to computer vision where you specifically use object detection and, uh, you know, you also use NLP and all. So, uh, it's more about using them. And what I feel is that many number of jobs are there. Like if you are specifically in computer vision, please stick to that. It also has some amazing opportunities. I've seen some people working in some amazing uh, computer vision projects. And like the level of projects, I'm not very good at computer vision, but the level of projects is quite amazing, you know. And I just see the kind of tasks that people do. So here is my entire agent that is created, guys. See? Start, agent, retrieve, rewrite, generate, and end. Okay. Amazing, Sudesh. Amazing. So finally, let's go ahead and execute this and I think we should be able to execute it. So here what I'm saying is that the user is putting a message. What does Lillian Weng says about the type of agent memory? So if you probably just go ahead and print this output, it is calling the agent and now it is checking the relevance and API key. Okay, API key I have to pass over here. I think I did not pass it. Let's see. Mm, chat open AI. API underscore key is equal to API underscore key. So this is my materials for tomorrow's session. You know, so I I have basically used it very quickly. I know you may be thinking, Krish, you have not understood this, but I have understood it because I have worked on line graph. So that is the reason. Now I think you should be able to see this. It will run. Let's execute this. Now calling agent. Uh, wait, 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 I have to add this workflow, update this workflow. Now let's execute this. Now it should work. Calling agent. Oh, uh, still API key. 
still api key problem is there let's see whether i have missed anywhere chat open ai oh i have missed it over here api underscore key is equal to api underscore key now i think it should get be able to execute it how it should work calling agent check relevance decision documents related so here you can see it is hit the retrieve and here you have the entire message Linen Wang discusses short term and long term memory in the agent with short term memory being used for in context learning and long term memory use for this is what is agentic rag guys here you are dependent on the agent here you are dependent on the agent to specifically do a task the agent is deciding see here initially we called a agent the agent is then deciding like whether they have to probably go ahead and see this retrieve or uh, and then probably go ahead and generate it right so altogether if you probably see this diagram probably talks many things about it you know so here you have this specific diagram see decides to execute a function called to retrieve documents and all and all and all right so here you have this entire thing see here the function call is happening then conditional edges is there then tool node is there this is amazing lang graph and i what i feel is guys like tomorrow when you are definitely going to do some kind of task agentic rag is really important because the agents are deciding which tools to use right because here i have just used one tool right we have just used this one tool retriever now just imagine if there were other tools like uh, in langchain you have so many other tools like rsif you have other tools like duck duck go search uh, that is specifically for web search and all right and here you can probably see quickly we were able to develop this right hardly how many minutes i took i, I think I, I just took 30 minutes to probably come up with this entire thing yeah tomorrow a dedicated video will come on to, on to this okay yeah so let's let's talk with you all now uh then ab batao yaar kaisa chal raha hai life how's life how's things now you can ask me any questions that you want a data science boot camp i'll not do brother brother i'll just do generative ai because that is the most recent thing all data science things i have already uploaded in my youtube channel nothing new is probably coming in machine learning at least in deep learning part something news are coming but uh, specifically i would be interested in teaching generative ai part so if you also want to check out all the information will be given in the description of this particular video we are also coming up with two live batches which you can definitely see to it okay so i'm not getting interview calls even after upgrading my resume i've done bca should i go to mca yeah before going for higher studies try to get some kind of experience Uma Shankar says, "I creating one agentic app for a retail client where order and inventory agents so exist. Thanks a lot, your God. Thank, thank. I'm not God, yeah. I'm just trying to teach. Okay, but good work. Because what I hear from people now, they are developing. Every companies are talking about agentic rag. So if I probably talk about the four types of agentic rag, uh, uh, the four types of rag. One is corrective rag, agentic rag. Different different types of rag is there. Krish, what roles can fresher target AI engineer or data science?" try to become an intern try to get into the industry first okay don't look for roles roles will be decided once you start working on it okay yes okay let's let's pick up some more questions hmm. then um, how how's things going on guys tell me how's your learning process are you liking it uh what you are teaching in few hundreds we did not get such material after spending 2 to 3 lakhs in market thanks a lot thank you this is the most amazing comment that i have heard uma shankar thank you again uh, i feel uh, yeah see if even though i'm coming up with courses right uh, that should be a minimal payment you know like for udemy it is your responsibility to complete it and i have seen udemy people are completing it like anything 
the live sessions i'm just going to have this two live sessions and one more maybe big data in the future but i don't know yet but this two live sessions one is advanced nlp with generative ai and the other one is complete computer vision with generative ai this too i will be continuing because maximum amount of new things are actually coming over here okay data science i would suggest uh, at least for machine learning deep learning basic deep learning and all you don't need to be dependent on any course you can probably go ahead and just see my youtube channel everything is available if you probably want to learn more, much more in depth you can probably go ahead and check out the udemy course that i have okay so when data engineering course will come the udemy course is going to come next month okay remaining see maximum research is basically happening in this generative ai field now uh so how to search for jobs can you suggest keywords like data there is nothing as such guys please only projects should be really good nowadays a new kind of hiring is basically happening you know where you just throw your thought process important thing is there right tell people that i know this things to implement once it gets viral many people will like it and there will be some people who will look at it you know i've hired eight freshers just doing in this strategy you know i've just seen their work no need to probably even interview so you only copy paste the things yeah see over here this is the agentic rag the first time now what i will do is that i will try to make some changes i will try to probably go ahead and create things at the end of the day see every point of time you have to probably go ahead and check the documentation and after checking the documentation you go ahead and probably create your own things yeah you have to be dependent on the documentation right when any new open source things comes main to code likhte jaunga to pehli baat to samajhna bhi chahiye na kya ho raha hai kya nahi ho raha hai hmm exploring things is multiple things right i always make sure to check the documentation guides i don't have aisa bol rahe ho jaisa khud aap code likhte ho hmm aap khud chat gpt ko khol ke pura code chhapte ho hmm sir i am a second year student at iit bombay your ai ml lectures are helpful and better than our professor lectures thank you thank you bhaiya i want to make a multi ai agent system which can do research and make new discovery and come up with new innovation please give me exam <laughs> sab kuch ai ke upar chhod doge to kaisa hoga yaar research is something see ai is trained on data it will not do research right unless and until i don't know in the future agi comes so you are teaching in hindi or english i usually teach in english okay i i have created two end to end data science project i have two years of excel survey but i will like get a job or again should i go for it so it's more about try to look at for the job you know first of all try to get some experience what i feel is that education without you know people not studying that much also they are able to do well okay but it's more about your curious interest okay because again mca will take another 2 years you will probably spend so much of time over there just take 3 to 4 months and try to see that whether you are able to get jobs or not okay sir so, ml ops course kar raha hu aapke course ke baad how can i find jobs jo bhi likha hai jo bhi kara hai wo seedha seedha resume mein daliye aur explain kariye projects right explain is today the last date for registration for boot camp or tomorrow so tomorrow will be the last date tomorrow is 15th and then on 16th we are going to start and once the session starts i will not be taking any more enrollments i will disable the page okay why you are using headphones when it is not needed because i can hear my voice number no, there this mic i have i can also hear the voice from it okay um uh, one more thing that i really wanted to explore was the langraf studio let's see 
Langraph Cloud. So you need to have this tools.py, tools for a graph, nodes function for a graph, state for definition of a graph. And then these are the libraries. These are my requirements. Mm. Okay. Okay, API graph, and then you specifically use this. So any coupon for live courses, suggest the roadmap. There is something there, right? After you set up your project, it's time to deploy your app. Let's see. I'm just going through this uh, Langraph local. Langraph cloud is available. I think it is not available. Guys, have every anybody used Langraph cloud? I want to probably explore this. <laughs> One click deployments of Langraph application. I'm not able to see Langraph platform you're able to see it but how do we go ahead and do the deployment has anybody done this deployment over here uh, I don't see anywhere deployment sections deployment one Langraph platform is there it's just showing you one click okay this I think will be my local endpoint and we can connect it let's see this I've got some resources. Let's see. Just a second, anyone? Just a second, guys. Agent will have this agent.py. Is it Anthropic or OpenAI? Where is my environment variable? Just a second, I have just copied a code. Oh, Langsmith API key is required. Grok is not required. DuckDuckGo search is required. Maximum results. Create React agents. I don't require this. I'm just trying to see whether we'll be able to create or not. LQMs. DuckDuckGo search. Chat GPT preview. Open API. Now how do I probably run this? If you see, I think there should be some process to run it also. Okay. Um, what is this? Lang graph up. So I think you should also require dockers over here. So my docker is running. Okay, my docker is running. Let's see. Oh, whether this will run fine or not. Sir, uh, I want to develop a real-time ad detector in news place. Please suggest me. Resources, I have only knowledge with ML algorithms. A real-time ad detector. Ad blockers are there, right? Kushal Dulani says, I got 33 lakhs per, uh, per annum, all in hand, good package, but working more on dealing multiple clients. R&D on the requirements and building solutions document. I think I will lose my hands on coding skills. <laughs> uh, I think uh, if you are highly experienced and you just love coding, I suggest be in the coding area. Otherwise, at one point of time, you have to probably move towards the management side. 
Can you give me some learnings from LQM? I've researched in this to develop R&D AI agent system. Maybe this can be a game changer. LQMs, let's see. LQMs. What is LQM here? Large quantitative models. Impact of LQMs versus LLMs. This is nice. AI for lang language plus graphics. Sanyo generates a property data using physics based system and trains on the data leading to insights. Language plus graphics. I really need to see this. I have never seen this right now. But this is a new thing. Let's let's see this. Okay. This is nice. LQM AI model. Sorry. LQM. Large quantitative models. Some more. Okay, first of all, let's see whether my code is running or not. Okay, this is running fine. Let's see, I should be able to see my Langsmith then. Open Studio. Wow, this is nice. So the Langgraph Studio is basically working in the Langgraph platform. What is the weather of Bangalore? Let's search something. So I think as soon as I submit, this should be working. See, it is going to the agent, going to the tools and giving me the response. The current weather of Bangalore is approximately 76 degree Fahrenheit. I think you should be able to see this. Nice, 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 nice. This is nice, yeah. Uh, just imagine the Langgraph Studio is basically able to probably see this, right? And uh, what is the current AI news? I got by Krish for movie. I got I got tension. Matlo. The okay, let's submit it. What is the current AI news? Duck, duck, go search. It is basically doing it. AI companies including, let me just show you this, hide my face. AI development, AI companies including OpenAI facing delays and challenging training new large models. There is a shift in focus towards allowing more time for inference in new models, which could impact the AI arms race. The normal, next normal, this one. This is nice, right? I have actually created this entire thing. OpenAI CEO on AI super intelligence. So all this information is basically coming up. The field of artificial intelligence continues to evolve with new research breakthroughs and all. Oh, URL is also given, right? Nice. All the research is specifically happening. This is beautiful. So this is how you basically explore things. But I am really interested in this one. LQM versus LLMs. A deep dive into present and futures of language models and large quantum models. How LLM works, this I know. How LQM, quantum computer will operate using the principle of superposition and time. Okay. So it is basically going to use this quantum binary qubits 0 and 1. I think this will be helpful in training the model. Okay. Perfect. Let's explore this more as I go ahead, you know. But uh, this is nice, right? See, over here you have, you were able to, where is this Langsmith? This is nice. Whatever question you ask, it will be able to. This entire Langgraph studio is integrated in Langgraph, uh, Langsmith itself platform. This is nice. Let me explore about LQM here. I, I also have no idea about it because uh, right now, <laughs> yeah, advanced NLP, this will happen in Zoom. Yeah, everything is given. All the information is given in the description of this particular video. Yeah. 
so how was the session overall guys uh, do you want to continue this kind of sessions where we discuss something where i probably execute some code you know it will be fun for you yeah should i do this or not It's a placement try. I have prepared a lot of generative AI. I wanted to get placed as generative AI engineer intern on campus roles coming from data science and center. Yeah, you can. You can actually make it. Make sure that your basics are absolutely good now. Okay. Okay, guys. So quickly, a quick announcement. Uh, you'll be able to see the description of this particular video. We are coming up with two amazing live generative AI batches. One is with respect to NLP and the complete entire computer vision wherein we are going to learn so many things uh, like object detection and all. Um, yeah, uh, you will be able to get the dashboard access. All the sessions are going to happen in Zoom. This was it. Uh, anyhow, uh, in this session, I, I enjoyed things and I already made two videos, two videos materials for, uh, for the upcoming things. Like tomorrow, I will be uploading all these kind of videos. I'll record it. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. Uh, please make sure that you go ahead and watch everything in the description of this particular video. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Keep on rocking. Keep on learning. Love you all. Bye-bye. 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 I don't know anything about machine learning and LP. Can I join the course? Already prerequisite is given. Uh, I've also uploaded some prerequisite videos, but you need to have some basic knowledge of Python or machine learning. Okay. That is more than sufficient. Basic NLP, I will try to teach you again.